Hey guys, Chris Cards here. We have a first look at 2019 Topps Gallery. Just picked this up at my local Walmart for $79.99. They had two boxes there. This came out yesterday. Two autograph cards per box, so we'll see what we have in here as well. Box is a little damaged. The other one was also damaged, so hopefully the packs are okay in there. Oh, I forgot about that. We've got a box topper in here. Doesn't seem creased or anything, so that's good news. They also had some uh, Topps Holiday there as well. Bought two boxes of those. That's all they had left. Charged me uh, $20 this time for the Topps um, Holiday. So I, I, I swear my local Walmart doesn't really care too much about what they price their baseball cards at because it's always kind of screwed up. They should be $22.50, but... Here we go, guys. We have 20 packs. We have five cards in each pack. And as I said, we've got two autographs in here floating around somewhere. This is the third year of Topps Gallery. They started in 2017. It's a Walmart exclusive. So you can only find these boxes at Walmart. This is, this is the Monster Box. And of course, all of these cards are illustrated by various artists. Matt Carpenter, Austin Meadows, Daiwa Lugo, a masterpiece card of Jacob deGrom. There's Justin Upton, your two-time Cy Young Award winner. Masterpiece is inserted at 1 in 10. Got Aussie Albies here on the back. Make sure all these wrappers get in the garbage can where they belong. There's Gary. I am Gary. Kutch. Buster Posey. Master and Apprentice. These are inserted at one in five, so these are fairly common. You got Robin Yount and you got Yelich there. There's the Albies. Really nice cards. I wish a lot of these guys would sign so I could get them signed, but being current product, it's tough to get these signed, at least until some of these guys are retired. There's a Verlander. Max Muncy. There we go. There's a nice one. Fernando Tatis Jr. Heritage. There's a Topps Heritage. There's a Nick Senzel. Same pack. Very nice. These Gallery Heritage inserts are also one in five. I think I got probably one of the best ones you could get there. Senzel as well. So the various artists in this set, of course, they all have different styles. You know, some of the complaints are, such as maybe this Jose Ramirez, it doesn't look like him. It's not realistic. But some of these guys, you got to imagine, um, that's not their style. So, Raphael Devers. I mean, they paint to their style. There's another one, perhaps. Doesn't look photorealistic. I mean, this is probably more photorealistic. But again, like I said, you have varying styles and different artists. And I kind of like that in this set. I don't want to see photorealistic versions of every single player, such as here you go again. So like to see the different styles. It adds to the uniqueness of the set. You kind of got to let go of that notion that all the art style needs to be the exact same and enjoy sort of the differences and the different styles and takes of each artist. So I've read some, I read some complaints and comments where people were upset about some art not looking as good as it could be, but it's very, art is very subjective. So Chris Paddock on the back here. Thought he might challenge for Rookie of the Year, but he kind of fell off. Toussaint. There's a Juan Soto. Here's a green. Here's our autograph, Reese McGuire. So our first auto. There's Chris Paddock right there. First auto is Reese McGuire. Green, so that's numbered out of 99. Green autograph is one in 84 packs, so a decent hit. Promising young star. He's put together a couple of decent years and part-time play up in Toronto. So one auto down, one auto to go. Michael Kopech. Mike Clevenger. Here we go. Featured artists. Domingo Santana. And there they are. There's a few of them. 
One of the artists is on YouTube. I know he's commented on my break from last year. There's Mike Trout. I mean, I always just consider Mike Trout a hit from here on out. Master and Apprentice. Again, one in five. Guerrero. Noah Syndergaard on the back. There's a Carter. Anthony Rizzo. Here's another Heritage. This one is of Noah Syndergaard. Very nice. Getting a couple of my Mets in this box. Kevin Newman. Here's the Private Issue out of 250. And there's another Thor. Thor threw me a ball this year in San Diego. I'll never forget that. Private issue is one in 14 packs. Stick that to the side. Got a Dustin Pedroia right there. Will Smith. Colby Allard. Here's another green. Mike Trout, masterpiece. Eloy Jimenez. Nice pack. Not a bad box so far. Let's see. This is not this is numbered out of 250. Art by Kevin Graham. Kevin is a YouTuber. He just opened up four boxes of these yesterday, so I'll link his YouTube channel in the description. You guys can check him out. Kevin Graham, out of 250, was uh, able to do the Mike Trout artwork. Very cool, man. That must have been very exciting for you. I think he's a Yankees fan, so he's pretty stoked when he gets to uh, he gets his Yankees in there. So, But yeah, Kevin Graham, he is the YouTuber. Hi, Kevin. I'm sure you're watching this. Congrats on the Mike Trout. I'm glad I pulled it. Very cool card. Out of 250. Like I said, I'll, I'll take a base Mike Trout as a hit. If I can get a numbered, numbered uh, Trout, man, that's that's awesome. Kevin said he would sign any of the cards. I don't think I would get that one signed. But if I had another one that he did, I would for sure send it along to get signed. That would be kind of cool. A lot of the Dick Perez stuff from Diamond Kings. He, he, used to, he still signs a lot of his old Diamond King art, so... Chris Sale, here we go. Austin Riley had a great start to the year. Kind of petered off there towards the end. Kyle Schwarber, Josh Bell, and Cole Stewart. All right, I'm about halfway through. I'm still looking for that second autograph. Thanks, guys, for watching. Let me know what you thought or think. There's Roddy Teles. Let me know what you think of this set, this product. It's definitely unique. Brandon Lowe, David Peralta. Ronald Acuna Jr. I'll just sleeve that up just because it's Mr. Acuna. There's another Master and Apprentice. This one is Babe Ruth and Aaron Judge. Really sick card. Very cool. I'm going to actually set that one to the side as well. Elvis Luciano. There's another Kevin Newman. Miguel Andujar. And yeah, all the, uh, all the artists, there's Kevin Graham again, he did this one. All the artists are listed on the back, in case you guys are interested. There's a Topps Gallery Hall of Fame card of Robin Yunt. Let's check out this. Last one is Jonathan VR. There we go. One in ten for this one. Very nice. It's Brian Reynolds. Luke Voigt. Mitch Hanniger. There's a Heritage of Mookie Betts. And there's Bryce Wilson. It's all Vlad Guerrero there on the back. Dennis Santana. Salvador Perez. There's a George Springer. Stanton. And there we go, Vlad Jr. All right. So we got the um, So we got the Tatis and the Vlad Jr. out of this box. And you know I would love, love. Got Aloy as well. You know I would love to see the um Pete Alonso. Just seems like I just just can't pull him. Freddie Freeman, Shohei, Otani, pretty cool. Um, Kevin Graham, awesome Shohei. Since you're watching, I can I guess I can compliment you in in real time here. Very nice man, like it. Kyle Freeland, something coming up next. Looks like another masterpiece card. Nolan Arenado, sweet. And there's a Garrett Hampson there. 
Altuve, looking angry. He's not very happy about the cheating allegations, I'm sure. Jose Barrios. Matt Chapman. Here we go, guys. Domingo Santana. There's our second auto. There's Jalen Beeks there, the last card in that pile. Domingo Santana. And there you have it, guys. Both are autographs. Nothing too crazy. Both sticker autos. I guess in a retail exclusive, I guess you're lucky to get autos at all, but... I'm not one to complain. Stickers are obviously not preferred, but... It is what it is. Mitch Keller. Contreras here. Brendan Rogers. Remember, I pulled his auto out of a rookie explosion box not that long ago. There's a Frank Thomas and Aloy Jimenez. Uh, pretty sweet. John Lester. Of course, these cards don't get the rookie card badge because he's on there with another player who is not a rookie, but I'll put that to the side. We've got two packs left, guys. And then we'll do a quick recap. You can still order these online on Walmart's website, so make sure you order them online. You can do in-store pickup as well. Daniel Ponce de Leon, if you guys are having problems finding these. There's a Yusef Kikuchi. There's an Ichiro card. He did play, what, one series last year. Played the opening series in Japan and then retired. This has Masters on it, which I do believe makes this a short print. 151 to 200, perhaps, are short prints. And I think the Master designates this card as a short print. Could be wrong. But I do remember that from last year. If you watch my opening from 2018, I went in. I went into the opening fairly blind. I did not know a lot. And then I went back and watched a video and looked at the cards. And I had a lot of short prints and a lot of pretty cool cards. I didn't realize that at the at the at during the break. But pretty neat nonetheless. Here is our last pack, guys. John Duplantier, Adam Simber, Merrill Kelly. I'm gonna get shut out, ain't I? Ozzy Smith Hall of Fame card again. Pretty sweet. I think these are like I said, one in ten. No Pete Alonso, but here's a Miles Straw to finish out the box. All right, one last thing before a quick recap. Let's open up this box topper and see who we have. All right, well, there you have it. Pretty cool. Trey Mancini. Quick recap, guys. My two autos in this box were Domingo Santana and Reese McGuire. This card is numbered at a two, or sorry, 99. Green, 1 in 84, I do believe. So pretty good. At least we got a parallel. Not very exciting as far as autographs are concerned. But Master and Prentice, we got Eloy Jimenez and Frank Thomas. We got Babe Ruth, Aaron Judge. A couple inserts there. Here is a short print, Ichiro, Master. This card's a little bit thicker than the normal base card. So pretty neat little card there. There's an Acuna. Senzel, Rookie. Newman, Private Reserve, out of 250. Carter Kaboom. Eloy Jimenez, Base. Here's a Fernando Tatis rookie, um, Heritage, Vlad Guerrero base, rookie card, couple of Hall of Fame cards, Yount, Smith, masterpiece of Nolan Arenado, masterpiece of Mike Trout out of 250, probably the best hit in the box, and then there, there's his base card, so there you have it, my friends. Hope you guys enjoyed this first look at Topps Gallery 2019. Overall, I loved them. I love this set. I think it's super cool. 100 cards per box, two autos, $80. That's worth it to you or not. Is another story. You could probably buy a lot of these on a secondary market and pick and choose who you like. Or, of course, you can just buy the box like I did and um, hope you get somebody. So it looks like I'll have to go to the secondary market to find my Pete Alonso rookie card. But that's what I'll do. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And stay tuned for some more videos this weekend. Thanks a lot.